Our home, the universe, was born about 13.8 billion years ago in a massive expansion. This is the Big Bang, a theory accepted by most cosmologists and physicists. The Big Bang was not an explosion in space, as the theory's name might suggest. Instead, it was the appearance of space everywhere in the universe. The Big Bang theory suggests the universe was born as a very hot, very dense single point in space. No one is sure what exactly happened before this moment, but with sophisticated space missions, ground-based telescopes, and complicated calculations, scientists have been working to paint a clearer picture of the early universe and its formation. One evidence for the Big Bang expansion is that the universe is still expanding, even now, at an ever-accelerating rate. This expansion is being driven by dark energy. Another great evidence is the cosmic microwave background radiation. While in the mid-1960s, two astronomers, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, were trying to tune into the microwave silence transmitted from the Milky Way, the radio antenna kept picking up a continuous weak fizz. So they rebuilt the antenna to get rid of the weird noise, but it didn't solve their problems. However, the hiss they wanted to remove was actually the echo of the Big Bang, or the cosmic microwave background radiation. The cosmic microwave background is noise left over from the creation of the universe. This microwave radiation is only three degrees above absolute zero, or negative 270 degrees Celsius, and is uniformly perceptible from all directions. No object older than 13.8 billion years was detected. So around that time, within a tiny fraction of a second, gravity and all the other forces were formed. Protons and neutrons started to form within the first second. Within minutes, these protons and neutrons combined into nuclei. After 380,000 years, nuclei could finally capture electrons to form the first atoms, filling the universe with clouds of hydrogen and helium gas, which are still by far the most abundant elements in the universe. This left behind a bath of photons, the cosmic microwave background that Penzias and Wilson accidentally detected. Present observations suggest that the first stars formed from clouds of gas around 150 to 200 million years after the Big Bang. Heavier atoms such as carbon, oxygen, and iron have since been continuously produced in the hearts of stars and catapulted throughout the universe in spectacular stellar explosions called supernovae. Penzias and Wilson had indeed spotted the cosmic microwave background, the predicted thermal echo of the universe's explosive birth. In 2001, NASA launched the Wilkinson Microwave and Isotropy Probe WMAP mission to study the conditions as they existed in the early universe by measuring radiation from the cosmic microwave background. Among other discoveries, WMAP was able to determine the age of the universe, about 13.8 billion years old. The landmark find of Penzias and Wilson put the Big Bang Theory on solid ground, suggesting that the cosmos did grow from a tiny seed, a single point called a singularity, about 13.8 billion years ago. The nature of this point of infinite density and temperature is extremely difficult for our little brains to understand. But the idea of the Big Bang may not accurately reflect reality, because the singularity idea is based on Einstein's theory of general relativity 
and it might be wrong because it doesn't take into account quantum mechanics, which is certainly going to be important. A recent theory says our universe might not have gotten its start when it collapsed in on itself and exploded. The theory suggests that such an event may have been prevented by the laws of quantum mechanics, meaning that the beginning of our current universe would have been more of a big bounce than a big bang. We talked about the big bounce theory in a previous video, and you can find a link to that video in the description below. Thank you.